Hello. Hello, Greg. Yes. Hello, mate. It's Brian. Yeah, hi, Brian. How you doing, all right? Yeah, not bad. Not bad. Are you are you alright to talk now, Greg? Yeah. Yeah. No, I am. Yeah. Yeah. No, cool. Um. Yeah. So. Um. I mean, really. I can't see. I, I can't see how you think I can. Sorry. Can you hang on a second. Actually, turn, yeah. Go on. Go on. Should I turn the radio off? Go on. Yeah, right, sorry about that, yeah. Yeah, cool, mate. Um, um, I, I'm, I'm just wondering how you think that I can assist you in, in, in this. Well, I mean, all, all you can really do is confirm, you know what I mean? Because, I mean, look, I'm... I'm you, what is it you want me to confirm? Well, look, Greg, you know what I mean? Kellaway's talking to you over his shoulder. You're the news editor at the time, so you're the one in the middle that makes this corporate because... You're the one sending them to Chinkford to do this job. Now, you're going to know the truth behind this job, and they know they set me up. Why did they set me up, Greg? What, why am I being targeted? Who's behind the targeting? I personally, I'm not, even, I'm not even bothered about going for you, Greg. I want to know why I'm being targeted and who these people are and why it is. Has this got something to do with... Um... Look, just be straight with me, Greg, man, because I'm carrying on no matter what. Yeah. yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, no, I... So just to just play, just level with me because I'm not, you know, if you was me, you'd be the same. This is wrong what these people have done to me, and now I've got absolute proof against them. I'm watching everyone cover it up, Greg, and I'm not having it. I'm not having it, mate. I'm not having it. I'm going back to Downing Street, and I'm going to make that woman talk to me because this evidence here is overwhelming. Now, what? But I want to try and get to the. What I want to get to. What is he trying? What is your ultimate goal? What is it you're trying to achieve? Right, well, first of all, like I told you, man, they, they need to compensate me because for some reason, I'm being, I'm being, I'm being treated differently here to everyone else. Right, now I've got... Hang on, hang on, hang on look. Um, so what you're seeking is... What you're saying is... Well, I want damages. Oh, look, I want damages for what they've done. They've set me up, put me in prison, right? The old bill have colluded and taken on Kellaway's transcripts. Now, that is fucking wrong. That is wrong, Greg. Right, now I've got the email between Kellaway and DS Werrett. And Werrett's taking on... They haven't even transcribed their own uh, off of the originals because Tom Crone didn't want to release it. There was an abusive process uh, filed. There was all sorts going on. I get not guilty. Malik doesn't do a defamation uh, case against you, lot. And then the next minute he's working for Duncan Larkham... And then, and then seeking me out in 2012 because he wants to cover things up from your end. Now, <laughs> this geezer was supposed to be, this bloke was supposed to be my solicitor. Plus, I find that that Richard Mallet's got previous with Jerry Brand and John Listeners. Now, fucking John Listeners came to work with me or through his, his son, the True Steppers, and that was to get close to me because you lot were monitoring me because Joey and them lot were managing me. I mean, let's have it right. Let's have it right. You know what I mean? Let's have it right. I, 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 know, I know why I was being monitored in 2002 because of the whole me going down to the prison to see Reggie Cray and all that. I mean, I don't see what the problem is with that. It was an East End London gangster. You know, I've gone down to meet him and for some reason I became of interest to the newspaper. Steve Ward was telling me. He knew Rebecca Brooks. Steve Ward was telling me stuff. Right, so what, you, what you're talking about here is something that happened Sixteen years ago. Now, my recollection, my recollection of yeah. something that happened sixteen years ago, yeah. is pretty slim, frankly. Um, now, Greg, you know my job, mate. Come on, man. Everyone's protecting Kellaway because of the link, no, 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 no. because of the link between Comrade and Mazar. Come on, man. No, 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 no. I don't care a flying fuck about about. Uh, Conrad and... and uh, well, I do, because they're very detrimental to my case. And even though you may not, all of these people are all part and parcel of this case. And, and don't forget, Greg, there's no limitation on criminal. Right? There's no limitation on criminal. You were targeted, right? I was targeted. I've been targeted. And it goes on way before fucking 2002. I mean, we're talking all the way back with Daniela. But on paper, what I've got where it starts is February 1997. Because the news of the world were the first to print that I wasn't well and I was having a breakdown in 1997, right? 
And now today, they don't want to recognise that illness in the court and they're trying to call limitation and they're trying to stop all of this from 2002. Saying that I've got six years to bring a claim. Personally, I don't care about their claim. I'd rather go down the, crim I'd rather go down the criminal route. Who is representing you, I mean, legally? No one at the minute, uh, because Murdoch's taking care of that. And it's, he's showing me his power, yeah? The old bill, Scotland Yard. Scotland Yard are covering up Mulcair's notes. Why the fuck are they doing that if they're not in his pocket? They're in his pocket, no, no. everyone is, and he's been showing me that. I mean, you've even got fucking hacked off paying you and Glenn. And really, that's outrageous, because you lot were supposed to be the enemy, right? And now you've got hacked off with their fake fucking campaign, paying ex-News of the World journalists to work with them. I mean, that's not right. Peter Jukes has been round here, seen all the evidence. He's done nothing. Although I've got him on tape saying, I've never seen anything like it. You may have the thing here. No one has ever proved a link between Mulcair, right, and, and Mazza. And I can do that through Comrade Brown. I've got his police witness statement, and uh, all of them, Stian, all of them. The link between, the link between, there was no link between, between Mazza and, uh, and Mulcair. Well, there was, because, uh, and I'll tell you why, because, uh, let me let me explain to you why. You've got Robert Kellaway, right, the geezer you sent to Chinkford. He's transcribing all of his illegal recordings. I mean, if we only had that, that would be enough. What's he doing recording my private telephone conversations? Who's he think he is? He didn't have a warrant from the Home Office, Greg. Right? These people have, uh, uh, have acted illegally, and I've got them bank of rights. And I plan to go forward on it. I'm not fucking about, man. I'm the one that got wronged here. You remember me, don't you, Greg? Well, yes, yeah? Remember. You remember me. I still get played every year at Christmas. I've done nothing wrong to no one. I've never sold a story on anyone. And at that time in 2002, I was trying to see my kid. And Uslock got involved and set me up, sided with Natasha... She's been paid, right? Now, I know that Surrey Old Bill, Surrey Old Bill, right, who gave Neville Fellbeck Millie Dollar's number, Surrey Old Bill around the corner from my ex-wife and their family, Reg Carnegie, who's a Freemason, right? And he kept in the background on that. Now, Surrey Old Bill gave... Fellbeck, Millie's number on the day she went missing. I've had, I've had that, I've had that out of, out of Glenn. He's been in my house and admitted it. No, no, Brian, they didn't. They didn't. Well, that's why is he saying that then? If, if that's not true, because it goes against the official story that they've put out and makes everyone look like a liar, Greg. It's not. It's not. I, I listen. I mean, I know the far end of a fart uh, about Millie Dower. And I know exactly what happened, and I know exactly how the information was gleaned, um, and I know the, the the workings of what happened after um, after her work, well, before and during and after um, her phone was um, was tapped. It had nothing to do with with Surrey Police. Right. So she was she was phone tapped, and that has never come <laughs> out, and, and that has never cut, and that, and that has never come out, Greg. And the other thing is. She's done, or the or the official story of uh, of 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 uh, of Glenn getting her number on the tenth. That's the tenth of April, right? That's that's like a couple of weeks just before my sting. Now the problem that Kellaway's got is he tells the inquiry that he knew nothing of phone hacking or Millie Daler's voicemails being accessed. Yet, in our come walking with his police witness statement that Richard Mallet wasn't going to give to me when he knew that I didn't have the paperwork still from 2002 with our case. He wasn't going to give it to me. And lo and behold, he's working with Duncan Larkham at that time. So no wonder he wasn't going to send it because he came in to me on a clean-up for you lot. I caught him out and he's abandoned me in the claims, right? Just this man is trying to walk me down a path and say, oh, so you've got rid of Mr Mallet? No, he's abandoned me. Because he was hiding Kellaway's statement, his T-boy sent it to me by mistake, and then the shit hit the fan. And then, your lot continued to watch me again. Because I've had Ian Cutler around here telling me that Stuart Cutler, John Listeners... Oh, God. Right? Ian Cutler. Well, uh, Ian Cutler is a fantasist. He's a fantasist. But why would he, but why would he, why would he make them things up? He clearly worked there. What, are you denying that he's ever worked now? Of course he worked here. Right. 
Well, there you go well, then. So, uh, but but how can, you can't disprove it. Listen, he seems uh, like a lovely yeah. geezer to me. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Right, I started working uh, at the News of the World in 1987. Yeah. Right. He'd long gone. Yeah, I know. He was a 70s and 80s man, wasn't he? Yeah. What about Roger and Roger? Roger Simpson? What does he know? What the fuck does he know about what was going on at the News of the World? I swear to God, I, although I heard the name very occasionally, because yeah. he was described as being some sort of, like, bit, bit of a loony. Um, what, Roger? I heard the, no, no, no. Ian? Um, uh, Cutler. Cutler, Ian Cutler. Yeah, Ian Cutler was was, uh, was described as a bit of a, bit of a, uh, well, I don't, want, you know, I, don't want, I don't want to do it down, but... Hmm. A bit of a... Um, by who, though? By, by Murdoch, because he said he was going to do a book on him. By, by, by everybody. I mean, he was, you know, he was useful on certain jobs. He did uh, undercover jobs, but he, he knew he knew fuck all about fuck all. And certainly, you know, he, he, he left years and years, what, decades. Yeah, I know it was a long time ago. Decades. I know it was a long time ago. <laughs> You know, uh, listening to people's voicemails was, uh, you know, was a, um, you know, a, a, a twinkle in somebody's eye. Yeah. You know, so what he knows about about this is is it's just. Well, he's only he's only he's only saying from his point of view, isn't it? Because I've I have said to him, I've said, look. You know, Ian, like, don't make nothing up, yeah. Because if you're telling the truth, you don't fucking need to. You know, but he 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 wants to he wants to finish him. He really does. I mean, he's he's really got it in for the for the whole news UK thing over there. He just wants to go for Murdoch. He's not bothered about none of the in between people. He wants to go for Murdoch because, you know, after he tells Murdoch he's going to do a book, a week later, two weeks later, he's beat up by the old Bill. And now I know that Murdoch is in control of them old Bill. Especially Scotland Yard, because they they half blanked out my number and the mole care notes. Yet Glenn comes round here, and I and I I, de, I, de, I decoded them by then. But then he gives me the pages that I've decoded. Now, what what what? My, listen, one thing I I need to bring up right, and that is page fifty nine. I know there's loads of pages on me, Greg, right? But page fifty nine, the page that Natasha was paid on. Robert Kellaway leaves a message on my voicemail. He's finished. He's finished. If he, it, it, he's finished. Absolutely. And the fact that Scotland Yard haven't given me that, and Glenn hasn't given me that, confirms to me that they're both, along with Richard Mallet, protecting Robert Kellaway. Now, Robert Kellaway is not really the main one. The problem is the link to Mazza, which is Comrade Brown, who records me, who's... Whose, whose illegal recordings Kellaway transcribes and sends to DS Werrett at Loughton Police. Yeah. And the day that he transcribes is Thursday, the cut-off point, the 2nd of the 5th 02. And that is on top of page 60 of Glenn Mulcair's notes. Now, I was never supposed to match them two things, which is why Richard Mallet was sent in to me to do the job. Nice me up. This is a slam-dunk case. This is millions. There's some big figures being thrown about, Brian. Okay, Richard, get it done. All Richard wanted was me to give him the authority to go to Scotland Yard. Now he's got the Mulcair notes legally in his possession. Now he knows what not to send me, and he fucking didn't send it to me. I went through the ombudsman and also got the paperwork from the court where we had the, where we had the criminal trial. And, and, Ma and Mallet has held back everything. Abuse of process argument. Yeah, he sent the, the the statements of everyone. But there's so much that he missed out. And it's a good job I got a second bundle from the court. Because when I got that bundle, printed on... Because they print on both sides. I suppose they're trying to fucking save paper. But on the other side, lo and behold, Kellaway's leaving me a message. Do you know what I mean? That geezer's totally... He, he's fucked, mate. Because he's lied. He said that his byline was on Millie's story as a professional favour. And that he knew nothing of phone hacking. Well, then in I come walking with his police witness statement, which leads me also into Comrade, which then Comrade is leading me into Mazza. Now, there was four different wraps of gear here. I never gave anyone cocaine, Greg, and I think you know that, mate. Uh, well, let, uh, I admitted I gave the geezer money, 
right? And I gave him that camera, right? Because he was moaning about it. It was his idea. He bought the whole idea about. I went to meet that Zorba geezer because he told my mate Reese he wanted to give me a statement. Fuck knows why, but I'm going to meet him if you're going to give me a statement because I'm getting a hiding in the fucking court here, right? Everyone's ganging up against me, so obviously, yeah, I went and met the geezer. I never gave him cocaine, though. But why was there four different raps come up and then the police lose it within my case? Now, I'll tell you, there's a 0.69 gram. There's, there's the, the, uh, the police in an email to the police is half a gram. There's 289 milligrams and there's 389 milligrams. I've got Dr. Jack Chuddy from Volker Sciences police witness statement. I've got the lot. I've got a lot, Greg, man. I've got a lot. And I'll tell you, I'm going to rip these lot a new fucking arsehole for what they've done to me. It doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't. Well, disprove everything I'm saying, then. I'm not. Because they've, because they've destroyed all their stuff, and I know I'm sitting here with it. So what do we do? What, am I a liar, then, Greg? Should I, well, should I just fuck off into the darkness? And, and, I, and I, I'm not being treated like that, Greg. I'll come for everyone, mate. I promise you, I will put together a private criminal prosecution. I fucking will. And I'll put everyone in that thing. I'm not being treated like this. I ain't done nothing wrong to you. No, I know you haven't. And what I'm trying to do is trying to point you in the right direction. But when, you know, when you say things like Mazza colluded with... with well, he uh, did. With, uh, I know, look, Greg, me and you both know that, that I know they want to steer away from it, Greg, and I promise you I'll go full force on that point if they keep fucking with me, because... Well, uh, well then, if you, if you do, you're wasting your energy, I'm telling you now. Why am I, well, well, I've gone this far, do you know what I mean? I can go again for another five years. I mean, I've got other hurdles to get over first as well, this silly Ian Puddick cunt. He's another Murdoch man. I mean, fancy walking me in... To a, to a fake Operation Fernbridge interview that I can film. you got Kellaway sitting in the background, right? you got Ben Fellows, which was the first job that Bill Maloney walked me into. Who's he accusing? Kenneth Clark. Who's Kenneth Clark's right-hand man? Lord Grabiner. Lord Grabiner's instructing Linklaters against me for Murdoch. Everything goes back to Murdoch, mate. I'm clocking it and I see it. And why they think that they can pretend that I don't know what I'm seeing. All it's doing is winding me up, Greg. It's just winding me up. Just tell them to level with me, pay me, and I'll fuck off. Because I've had, I've, had, I've had enough. But I will carry on to prove my point. But if I have to carry on, it's not going to be on a money basis, because I already told Christine on her show, I'll waver that money, and I'll watch everyone go to prison, and I'll turn up at Downing Street every Christmas Eve, every single year, from now on, Every single year, I'll change the lyrics to that song and I'll stand outside down the street and I'll get as big a crowd as I can get and tell everyone every single year until someone listens to me. Uh, well, well, I promise you, Greg, because no, no, I this is me, mate. This is me, and I'm, I'm sticking up for my life. And when people are going to stop fucking with my life, give me what they owe me and, it, and it'll all go away. But if they're going to keep ignoring me and winding me up more, mate, and trust me, they've been doing this to an ill man as well, and I can prove. Since 1997, when you lot printed it first, until today. 21 years. Well, I, I, you know, I think that, I think that you've, you've created a... Um... No, I've not created nothing. Don't tell me I've created anything, Greg. Come uh, on, man. Uh, Greg, you called the job on, for fuck's sake. You uh, have created... You... Well, I'm trying to be helpful. It's right? not helpful, because you called the job on, and you're telling me I'm creating shit. You were the ones that created it. No. No, no, no. No, what do you mean, no? Did you, all right then, did you or did you not send Kelly out of Chinkford? Oh, yeah. Right. Did you or did you not send Conrad Brown to Chinkford? Um. Well, it's on paper. I, it's on paper. It's on paper. It's on paper anyway. You did. Well, it's on, it's on paper you did because you was news editor at the time. So, who, right. right, let me ask you one question. Who was instructing you to do it to me? Because this this just get this this just get this will just get you off the hook then yeah because you're not really you're not really going to help me who done it who, who's instructed you was it Brooks no yeah it was because she didn't want to be caught to court because I know she knew about it I've got a quote from her Rebecca Wade as she was known back then apparently very unhappy about the way the case was handled what part of the case did she think was handled badly because I've got a quote from her I I. I... It was the tapping, Greg. It was the tapping. 
right? No one's admitted to tapping. You've admitted to tapping, but they haven't admitted to tapping. But you've admitted to tapping, and you was the news editor. So you're important. You're the one that makes it corporate. I, I really, I, I can tell you now that, that Rebecca Wade had nothing to do with that story. Other than, at the time, she was the editor and printed it. That's it. What, but she, what, so she, right, so was it Coulson? It was Coulson. It must have been because he's on the email with Tom Crone and Neil Wallace. Come on, man. All of these people knew I was tapped. And the way that I can prove that I was tapped is that it's public. It's publicised on the 5th of May. And it's on that email to Tom Crone that's got Andy Coulson on it. So, therefore, those lines, right, that we got transcripts for, that you never gave us the, ta- the, the audio tapes for, that we was asking for in Disclosure... Right, it's all very well giving us compilations. We wanted the full thing, and then if we'd have got the full thing, what would we have found on that tape? Would we have found Millie Dalla? Would we have found information to do with Millie Dalla? Because it was the same month, and Glenn Mulcair's notes were not in chronological order. And I've got page fifty-nine missing, though I've got fifty-eight and sixty. Even Glenn himself said there was five. Right, so there's three pages missing for a start. Look, we know what's going on. I'm going to have no problem proving it. Well, I, I'm sorry. I, I, I don't think... I mean, if there's a way in which I, I, could, I could help you, uh, I would. If there isn't, um, you know, I'm sorry, but... Listen, I think uh, you've already helped me. You've already helped me. Even even with a quote, that's why I put you on the front of that video, Greg, because the quote that you said there, we would never, we would never run a story based on a piece of information from a voicemail. Exactly. So I was phone tapped, and you know I was phone tapped. We wouldn't. Yeah. Well, are you so, are you now saying you didn't phone tap me? I didn't say that. Right. So let me ask you the question straight. Let me no, let me ask you the question straight. Let me ask you the question straight, Greg. Did you phone tap me? I don't remember whether we did or we didn't. To be honest with you. All right. I can't All remember. right. All right. <laughs> come on, Greg, man. <laughs> Greg, come on, man. You know. Mate, they fucked my life up, mate, so yeah, that's why. In your life, you know every, what you think is every single intimate detail of what happened. I... You won't, yeah, I know, I get you, I do get you, I do get you. Hundreds of stories, hundreds of stories, you know, some big, some not so big, but I dealt with hundreds of them, and I don't remember the minutiae of... What happened on a given story? There's bits I do remember, but the, the, you know, the minutia, the little itty bitty things. All right, all right, all right. I'll just, all right, all right, all right. I don't remember. Right, no, I'll get you. I'll get you. All right, let's just go by what's on, on black and white then, what we've all seen. How have I got transcripts? How have I got transcripts of private telephone conversations? <laughs> Well, you called the job on, you must know. It's very convenient for you to keep saying you don't know and not put your name to anything, but it's all on paper, Greg. I'm just trying to get this thing sorted out so I can move on because I feel like I'm going round in circles again now. Listen, I don't know. I don't, you know, I'd be, I'd be lying to you if I told you that I did know. I don't. I was phone tapped. Rebecca Brooks knew about it. Rebecca Brooks knew. It's what she thought was handled badly. It's why she didn't want to come to court. What do you remember from our case? Just all right, let's just go let's just go with that. Just tell me just tell me off the top of Greg, off the top of your head, what you do remember. Please. Please, mate. Please. Right? I don't Greg, I'm not seriously, mate, I'm not trying to go for you. I'm not trying to stitch you up. Let me get to the truth. Let me sort it out. Let them pay me and I'll fuck off. But they're not leaving me on benefits. I sold 22 million records. I was going to America. And because these people decided to set me up, my life's got to stop. And I've got to go to prison over something that I didn't fucking do when I was trying to see my baby. Do you understand where I'm coming from, Greg? Yeah, yeah. Right? That's where I'm coming from. Now, I'm not trying to be a problem to you. I'm trying to get to who the fuck is targeting me. Because when I do fucking get them, God help them, mate. Fucking God help them. I was trying to see my kid. Right? I was being fucked over left, right and centre. Now, Greg, I'm asking you, please. I, I remember very, very little. I remember Rob Callaway was involved. And to be honest with you, it, it, I, I, don't remember, I don't remember Conrad being involved. 
Yeah. Well, he was. I've got his police witness statement, so you've only got to read it. It wouldn't surprise me if he, if he, uh, if, if he was involved. It wouldn't surprise me if Mazza wasn't involved in some way. What I'm saying is that Glenmore Care may, if there's something on paper that, you know, with your name on it, and uh, he's, he's got a top left. Is yeah, top left, top, top left, left top left, yeah. Who, whose name is there? Uh, Neville. Neville. For, yeah, Neville, second of the fifth O two, 2 And that's the same day that Kellaway transcribes and sends his recordings to DS Werrett on email. Right, so, so it was Neville who, who contacted uh, Mulcair. Uh, Mul- yeah. Then, uh, so are these the pages 58? 58 and 60, uh, yeah. I never yeah. got, I never got, I never got fifty nine. But Tash has been paid on one of the pages or or more. So obviously, what they've done is they've paid her on that evidence, and then they've tried, and which is what's come from Scotland Yard again, because uh, Hugh Giles there wouldn't send me page fifty nine. And I said, look, we were still married at the time. My right and private right to private and family life covers that, and I've got a right to see that document, and they never let me see it. And I was in full right to see it, so it's another, but it's another downside for Scotland Yard. Uh, you know, I mean, Mulcair, as you can see from his notes, is very incredibly sloppy the way he writes things up. Yeah. For all I know, and I'm not saying this is the case, but what I am saying is, it's a possibility that uh, 50, 58 was you, and 60 was you, and 59 was somebody else. So what was so what was what page was Natasha paid on then? Because I should have been able to see that. Paid on. Yeah, she got paid. She, I mean, she got paid. I, I've ne- I've never been paid. They've never they've ne- they've never paid me anything. And Jesse well, Wallace, Jesse I mean, Wallace is on my page as well. I mean, if if, if if Jesse Wallace is on there, yeah, Smart Lane. There's an address for a Smart Lane on there, right? And um, you know, if, if the police were genuine in what they were saying, Greg, they half blank out my numbers. Right, but they leave Jesse Wallace's details open on there. It doesn't make any sense, right? If if that was genuine, what they were saying, but it, it's not genuine. Uh, well. You know, and, and and the fact that they're blanking out. Why would they blank out the number? Oh, they do that. But they redact numbers. Yeah, I know, but that's out of order because they fucked themselves. Yeah, I, because I, I've received. <clears throat> I said the DSL well. Why did you blank out the number? Well, we probably didn't attribute it to you. Well, why'd you fucking send it to me then? And he's all stuttering all over it. Look, I, I know what they've done, Greg. No one's ever going to convince me otherwise. It doesn't... They're trying to protect somebody's privacy. That's what they're doing. But, but they haven't. Because it was my number that they banked out. And I've said to him, why have you banked out my number? I'll tell... Shall I tell... Shall I tell... Let me tell you why. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. Because Richard Mallet... Because Richard Mallet would, would knows them there at Scotland Yard. Because that's who they liaised for. And Richard mallet has gone to them. Listen, I doubt he'll even remember that number now. Brian's had quite a few bad years behind him. You know, it's not it's not been that great. So I doubt he'll even remember the number. So leave leave half of it on there so it looks like we're playing fair. They are all in on it. Yeah, listen, bro. See, what they what the police decide to do is those documents don't just go to you. They didn't re- redact it just because of you. Those documents will have gone to a whole stack of people, right? There is people who are involved in the prosecution and the defence. So they don't want, you know, so they didn't redact it for you, they redacted it for everybody. <laughs> no, it's, 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 it's a conspiracy. They, 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 yeah, no, there was, there was. They were, Greg, it's so bloody obvious, mate, and when people say that there ain't, it's just, it's ridiculous. There's a massive cover-up gone on here, massive. I mean, uh, you know, Rebecca Brooks destroying that evidence, I mean, that's perverting the course of justice straight away. But no, not guilty. <laughs> You know, it, it, look, we know, we know. She was never going down because she's fucking, because she's fucking Murdoch's fucking bird. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. Why, why have her address on there then, on my page? Why is that on there? Why is that not redacted if that's a page that's coming to me? So it doesn't make, it doesn't make any sense. I can't. You can't speak for the police, I know, but I will. Why her address is there and your number was partially redacted, you know. I, I, I don't know what's going through their heads. That's what I'm saying. No, I'm, I'm telling... I'm, if anything, I'm, I'm cluing you up with it because this is what I'm seeing first-hand, Greg, which right. it only points in, in one direction. Look, we know what's happened. I don't give a fuck, right, about all the rest of it because 
I'd, I've already tried to go and do something good for this country and got a cane in for it, trying to fight these fucking child abuse cunts, right? So, um, and I've seen the backlash on that. People don't give a fuck. They're not ready to move. They're not ready to do the right thing. So fuck everyone else. What are we going to do about my thing? Because Hacked Off are right up in the middle of this as well. And, and the fact that they're paying you and Glenn, and then they're coming, you're talking to real victims that are actually real victims that are being made to feel here like, hang on a minute, maybe we're in the wrong. No, fuck that. I've got plastered all over that newspaper so that cunt that owns that paper can make money off my fucking back. Right? And I, and I was depressed. I was fucking ill. Right? Which I still am. Right? To this very day because of this geezer. Because of what he done to my life. Kellaway even said himself he's doing much better these days. Well, not anymore, thanks to you, mate. Right? So, fuck, every, fuck everyone else. What are we going to do about my situation? Because I ain't going away. There's the bottom line. What, what can we do about it? What can we do? I personally don't want to start having to go and drag you through the court. I don't, I don't want to. You, you worked at a paper. You're welcome to, you're welcome to do it. It's, it's, it's uh, it, you know, it's not, it's not something that I, that I concern myself with. Well, look, 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 listen, listen, it's not, it's not a threat, it's not a threat, I know, I know, listen, let me finish, right, it's not a threat, it's not a threat, it's not a threat, it's, 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 it's something that I've got to do, but your information has been very helpful, because... Well, fine, fine, well, if it's been helpful, then good. No, it has, it has, and thank you for that, by the way, and, and, and thank you for talking to me, because, you know, like... No, Brian, I've got to go, okay? All right. Sorry, I'm sorry, okay. All right, nice one, see you, mate, bye. I got enough out of him. He done. He done know what to say. No.